I just want to get my hair cut. What's going on guys welcome back to another video um, I hope you guys have been enjoying these videos that I've been putting up um, try not to make them too boring or too long but uh... oh, excuse me um, anyways right now I am on my way to um, get a haircut because I definitely need one that's really long um, but yeah I just want uh, quickly I just want to ask you guys a quick question or um, a really um to get you guys opinion on something uh so i am going to be getting new tires for the for the mustang um, i'm going to be going with mickey thompson street competition tires um you know just to give me a little more traction at the track and stuff like that and really just try not to spin out when i'm there but anyways so american muscle right now is offering a free nitrogen fill for the tires uh, by the uh, regular air so I just wanted your guys opinions on what you guys think about that like is is it worth getting a nitrogen fill and then after that trying to look for a place in the local area that actually fills or does a nitrogen fill to keep it inflated um, you know if you guys are familiar with that just let me know like how much it actually costs to get a tire filled with nitrogen after you know you have to keep the pressure up um, if you guys have any benefits for it like is the benefit of having nitrogen fill overcome the inconvenience of trying to look for a place that has nitrogen fill but anyways uh, that's that's a big question of the day um, but yeah like some big news there I do want to get new tires I am going to be getting also two rears uh, two rear drag radios for for this car whenever I go to the track um, And what is going on here? There's some construction going on Oh, oh, he's letting us go. I should go now, right? Sweet Okay, well back to the question. Um, so yeah, uh, if you guys just wouldn't mind leaving me a comment or giving me some advice down below I'm interested in hearing what you guys think about it um, I'm kind of just weighing more towards just getting air filled because I don't think it's really worth it you know there's abundance of air compressors at gas stations you can fill up at um, not many nitrogen fill places at least not that I've seen but yeah um, just let me know um, I'm actually really excited to get new tires for this car uh, my driver's side rear is completely bald like you can see a little bit of traction I mean a little bit of tread there but it's so faint that it's basically bald you can run your finger across it and literally feel nothing so that's really scary living in a, a place like South Carolina when the rain season is about to come and the hurricane season is about to hit so I need to get new tires quick I've already convinced the wife to let me get them. She's all cool with it. She's ready for me to actually get them. I'm still just looking for... So what I'm trying to do right now is instead of just keeping the 19-inch uh, um, wheels that I have right now, I'm going to upgrade to 20-inch and get the Mickey Thompson on a 20-inch rim. And then I can just order 
just the drag radial tire itself and then put them on a 19 inch rim that I have that I'm not going to use anymore. So that's my take. I'll just keep the front 19 inch tires on there. Um, I'll have the uh, tire shop put the drag radios on the 19 inch rears and then I'll have a set for the drag strip when I'm ready to go. So that'd be awesome. But yeah. So that's basically um, the news I have for today. I am on my way and hopefully uh, let's see if we can get some action when we're driving over there. In South Carolina, you never know. There's always, always people uh, trying to prove that their cars are always like the most badass on the roads. guys just real quick I just wanted to like talk about some more things um, pretty much just talk about how the car is actually running right now um, it is actually running very healthy um, I've already fine-tuned the E85 with Bama performance now that one is healthy it puts a lot of power into the engine and man this thing does get up and go I am I am satisfied with band performance. Now I know there's a lot of stipulation out there with band performance being like you know, a lot of complaints about them, but um, you know for the first time using band performance, my experience wasn't all that bad. Um, yeah, it was rough in the beginning because I kept getting check engine lights with them, but um, you know I I kind of you know just stuck with them and said hey you know what I'll give them benefit of the doubt. I'll send these data logs in and they did wonders. Um, they mapped it all out they got it fine-tuned and now she runs healthy well right now I'm actually running um, a 93 tune 93 octane in it but um this thing does move I am completely satisfied with how much power this thing actually puts down I'm still unsure of the numbers because I haven't taken it to a dyno um, hopefully that'll come soon I got a couple of places here that have dynos that will uh give you your numbers but, uh, but yeah but anyways this uh this Corsa sports cat back that I'm running in it right now is freaking amazing as you can hear it and man this thing just rips around corners This suspension on it is amazing. I love it. I can't complain. So for those of you guys who have not seen my other video of building this, of doing the build that I have in it right now, um, please check it out. It's uh, it's funny. I mean. I thought it was funny because I'm a big old dummy and um, sprayed gasoline in my eyes even though I had safety glasses on top of my head I don't know what it was. anyways so if you guys don't know I have the uh, GT350 intake manifold on this car I have 47 pound injectors uh, if you're gonna go E85 you, you're gonna need to upgrade your injectors but that's about the only thing you need to upgrade uh, these cars come already equipped with everything else you're gonna need to run E85 um, I know like older cars you have to get like the flex fuel tune kit which you know change out a couple of hose fuel lines and and the pump and stuff like that but in, in the Mustang in the 2017 Mustang you only need to upgrade your your fuel injectors um, 47 pound I think is the minimum which I have right now in my car and then also I have this amazing Corsa Sports cat back with a double helical X pipe and it, it just sounds so throaty and so aggressive when you get on the gas so I don't even have it in sports mode right now and then this this thing still rips but uh, we'll put it in sports mode because we're about to go down a pretty straight strip of road if I can get around all the cars I want to be, be safe about it just wanna get my hair cut. Hey, uh, how's it going? Uh, I said six. Thank you. Got 
have some Starbucks. Now we can have a good day. Feeding time. Thanks for watching this video. As always, please subscribe down below and like the video. Share it, please, with your friends. Um, also, let me know what you guys think about this whole nitrogen fill and what your opinion is on it, if you have any advice on it at all. Um, I'm really excited to get these new tires. Um, I'll be getting them pretty soon here. And um, as always, remember, stay safe out there.